Hey guys, Captain here. Recently I had this idea for a building technique dealing with um, creating angled wings for a spaceship or an airplane. Now, uh, it wasn't a super popular video, but I did make a techniques video about uh, achieving different angles using a hypotenuse technique uh, last year. And this is kind of a similar idea. Suppose you have some, some general body or frame of a you know, an aircraft or ship or, or anything else. Um, and you would like to make an interesting angled wing. And so here's an example of something I've done. And you'll notice that this is different shaping because we actually have studs going, pointing out diagonally. And uh, I'll show you how exactly I did this. But the key here before I build this other wing is that uh, what's going on is we basically have a right triangle created this way, right? This uh, main frame here is the hypotenuse of the triangle, and then we have the right angle right here. And in this particular example, this is a 12, 5, 13 uh, triangle. So what I did to build this was relatively simple, and this is just a mock-up I created for the sake of, uh, of this video. But I basically, I start with a 1x8 tile and then I place a claw plate, vertical claw plate underneath here and then some bricks to fill it out. And importantly what's going to happen is that um, before I fill anything else out, I'm going to start layering down bricks uh, further below just so we can see where the um, right angle is actually going to form. So I'll place a uh, brick beneath the second stud here of the 1x4 brick. This is a stud on one side, but that's just for texturing reasons. What's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another 1x1 one one brick below that, and then an inverted slope, and then below that I'm going to attach a claw plate. And this is all um, actually well calculated, so what you've got is you have uh, four bricks worth of height discrepancy between these two claws, which is equal to 12 plates, and you've got two bricks of horizontal discrepancy between these two claws, and that's each brick is two and a half plates worth of width, so that's five plates. Sometimes when people talk about this in uh, LEGO communities, they might refer to it as half plates even, so this would be 10 half plates and this would be um, 24 half plates. And what I've done here is I have these claws, or rather these um, uh, these bar pieces separated by four bricks, which again is 12 plates, but because we have the additional plate here, this means that these bricks are, um, or these bars are 13 plates um, apart. And so that's how we achieve a uh, 5, 12, 13 triangle. And obviously you could use other angles too, but that's just an example that worked out you know, pretty simply for a small scale here. So returning to this build, if I want to fill it out, I'll place another inverted slope here, place one below this, one by one brick, and keep filling it out with inverted slopes. And then just to improve shaping a little bit, I'll throw a one by three slope in here and then I can attach it to the other side. And so you have a pretty interesting um, you know, technique this way. You could, I'm sure you could find some creative use for it. In fact, as I'm looking right now, I'm interested of, uh, or I'm reminded of certain types of butterflies, so I'm sure people could use it for um, all sorts of you know, different uh, applications. Anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I encourage you to please uh, leave it a like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, um, share this with your friends, and I will see you guys next time.